Hello viewers, uh, welcome back to the course on scientific computing using MATLAB. So today we will try to make some MATLAB code based on the power method and shifted power method to find out the eigenvalues of the given matrix. So in the previous lecture, we have discussed the Gresigorian theorem and the, the bounds for the eigenvalue. So in the previous lecture, we have discussed that So now use based on this one, we will find try to find the, so let us do one more example uh, based on this one that estimate eigenvalues of the matrix one, two, minus one and one, one, one and this is 1, 3, minus 1. <coughs> so, in, the, in this case we have taken this matrix. Now from here, I want to find all the estimates of the eigenvalue of the matrix. So, I can uh, do this one using using Gresigorian theorem. So, that is the my solution. Now, if I take lambda less than infinity and lambda norm 1. So, from here I can write my lambda will be less than equal to infinity means the rho sum maximum rho sum. So, 2 plus 3 plus 4 and this is 3 and this is 5. So, from here it is coming 5 and this is my column sum maximum column sum it is 3, 6, 3 so it will be 6. So, this is my first bounds on the on the eigenvalues. So, it is case 1. Now, if I take case 2, so that is it will be lambda minus 1 less than equal to the sum of the remaining elements. So, 2 plus 1, 3 lambda minus 1 that is equal to 2 and lambda plus 1 that is equal to 4. So, that is the bounds on the eigenvalues. So, this is coming from the Gresigorian theorem, this is also coming from the Gresigorian theorem and this is also we have seen that this is equal to the norm of the matrix and this is the case number 3, I am taking the column sum. So, from here I can write that my lambda minus 1 is 2, the first column, lambda minus 1, the second column it is 5 and lambda plus 1 is equal to 2 from the last column. So, this is my third bounds. Now, from here, so from 1, 2, and 3, we can take intersection of all the bounds of all the given bounds and that will be applies the bounds on the on the eigenvalues of the matrix A. So, based on this one we are able to find the bounds on the eigenvalues of the matrix A. So, if I do the, I take the intersection of A. So, from here we will get that our lambda belongs to minus 4 and 4. So, that is my intersection of the given all these bounds because first will give me lambda from minus 5 to 5 it is minus 6 to 6. So, from here I will get all the all the bounds on this one and based on this one I will take the intersection of the left and the right. So, that gives me this. So, that is the bounds of the eigenvalue. So, all eigenvalue of this matrix lies from minus 4 to 4 
and we will verify this one with the codes of the power method and other methods. So, now we will move to, uh, so we will go for the MATLAB codes now of power method and shifted power method, shifted inverse power method. So let us do the go to the MATLAB. Yeah, so let us start with the MATLAB code. So if you see this, this is the MATLAB code we have, I have made, then this is, I call it the power 1. So this is the name of the function. So it is the power 1 and if I see the arguments of this one, so A matrix I will pass to this, X node is the initial solution or initial eigen vectors I have to pass and this is the tolerance I have to pass. And from this uh, routine, subroutine, from this function, I will get the value of lambda. So that is the eigen value, the dominant eigen value and V is the corresponding dominant eigen vector. So what I will do that, so let us do this one. So I have written here that what is the meaning of this input values and what is the output value. Now let us uh, take lambda is equal to 0 here and then I will start with the iteration. So that is the, I am starting with 0 and the error 1 I have taken just to start the process. Now I will display the initial guess is this x old is equal to x naught and if you will see that x naught I am passing to this function. So this will be saved in the x old. And here I am finding the n is equal length of x naught. So this one I can uh, maybe I can write at the top. So that will give me the what is the dimension of the length of this vector. So that is n because this is the n cross n matrix. So that n this a will be n cross n. Now if I go to the while loop, so it will give me while error is greater than tolerance. So I showed you that what is the tolerance. I will pass from here and the iteration less than 100. I do not want to do the iteration more than 100 in this case. So I will go the, if these both are true then it will go inside and I will find A into X old. So A into X old I will get Y. So that is the Y note I will get. So I call it Y and now what I do that I want to normalize the, the vector Y. So from here I could, what I do, I have to take the absolute of y and then I have to take the maximum value because I have to choose the, uh, the maximum value in magnitude. So that is why first I applied the ABS that is the absolute value of y and then I am taking the maximum and call it C. Now what I do is that I find the, the difference between the lambda that the eigen value I am going to find minus the C. So lambda I have already started from here. So I am finding the lambda and the whatever the C I am getting and I am finding the difference, absolute difference between these two. So that I call it DE, the difference in eigenvalue. Now what I do, I normalize this vector. So Y will be equal to Y over C. So I will take the C common from this Y. So this is Y by C. So now my Y is normalized and in the in the lecture we have showed this one with the x1. So this x1 is basically y over c1. So this is my c1. Now from here I will take the norm of x old. So whatever the eigenvector we are getting from the previous iteration and this is the eigenvector we are getting from this iteration, I will find the norm, L2 norm from there. So that will call it dv. Now I showed you that I will find the maximum of these two errors. So de and dv and that is my error. So I want that this error should be always whenever it is greater than tolerance, this program will continue otherwise it will stop and it will give me the results. So from here, so after doing this one I will find, I will uh, give the y to x old, lambda will be c, iteration is incremented by 1. Now in the same as in the previous, I will show that how this happens, how the accuracy or happens when we move with the iterations or in this case 
if I have taken for only two eigen uh, two matrices for n is equal to 3 and n is equal to 4. So, when n is equal to 3 I am printing on the screen add the iterations what are the iteration number x component, y component, z component and this is the lambda I am that the eigen value and this is the error. So, I am uh, writing this one in the in this order and similarly for n is equal to 4 I am finding this order. So, both the orders we are giving for n is equal to 3 and 4. So, once it is keep doing here then what I will do after once my error becomes less than tolerance or in other case our iteration becomes more than 100. So, this will be false. So, I will not move into the while loop and that will be the result final z v is equal to x old. So, x old will move to the v this will go as a output and lambda whatever the lambda I am getting that will be our output. So, in this case I will input a x node tolerance and I will get lambda and v. So, this is we save as a the name power 1 because I cannot use the power because if you see in the MATLAB there is an inbuilt function that is power. So, we cannot use give the same name as the inbuilt function. So, I have given this power 1 you can write it power method m power 2 or whatever you want to give. Okay. So, now I want to run this code. So, for this one, so input file I will to make. So, I have written the input file here. So, let us uh, make it this comment and make this uncommented. So, let us do this one. Now, this is the input file. So, I will use this file name as eigenvalue.m. Now, this is clear all CLC. Now, I define the matrix whatever the matrix we have done in the pre in the lectures that is 0, 11, minus 5, minus 2, 17, minus 7, minus 4, 26, minus 10. So, that are the same eigenvalues we have taken. Now, what I do? I will apply this matrix. This is my initial approximation. So, I am finding the initial approximation of the eigenvectors. I start with 1, 1, 1. So, in this case you can see that the largest value is 1. So, it is a normalized form no problem. The tolerance I am giving you 10 is to the power minus 5. So, that is my tolerance half into 10 is to the power minus 5. So, this is my tolerance. Now, I will call the method power 1 by applying this and then I will show the display the dominant eigenvalue of the matrix and the corresponding eigenvector. So, let us run this one. So, this is the solution I am getting. So, I have started with the initial guess 1 1. Now, at the iteration 1 my x component was 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.1 or 1 and the lambda was 12 that we have already done in the with the pen and paper. So, the error was 12. So, next iteration it was goes to 0 0.4, 0 0.6 and 1 and I will take the lambda outside. So, another lambda is coming 5.33. So, this is we also have taken in the previous lecture. So, from here my error goes to this and after that if we keep running this code then after 16 iteration you will see that my x component is 0 0.4, my y component is 0 0.6, z component is 1 and the lambda is 4.0049 and this error is giving me this value. So, you can see that even after you can see from here after 10th iteration you are getting you are going convergent to your eigenvalue and that is going to be 4 and that is the cor corresponding eigenvector. So, in this case we will get the eigenvalue that is lambda. So, that is 4 and this is the corresponding eigenvector that is 0 0.4, 0 0.6 and 1. So, this is my now dominant eigenvalues. Now, I want to see that what is the eigenvalue of the given matrix. So, this eigenvalue I want to find. 
So from here the, you can see that I have the eigenvalue 1, 2 and 4. So from the power method I am able to find the eigenvalue that is 4. So in this case we are able to do this one. Now what I want to do now I am able to find the dominant eigenvalue. So what I want to do now I want to take the inverse of the matrix. So let us take inverse of the matrix B. So inverse of matrix A that we call it B. Now what will be the eigenvalue of B? So eigenvalue of B if will be just let us check this one. So B is this one, my B is this one. So that is my inverse of A and this one I can check from by multiplying A and B. So this is giving me the identity matrix. Now if I want to find what is the eigenvalue of B, so that is you can see 1, so earlier eigenvalues were 1, 2 and 4, so its value is 1, 1 by 2 that is 0.5 and 1 by 4 is 2.25. So now if I want to find, if I apply the power method to this matrix B, then I should get the value 1. So let us check that whether we are getting the value 1 or not in this case. So let us take this one, now what I do is I will just ignore this one. And I will find try to apply this, this one. Now I will call again, but now I want to find the eigenvalue of B. So let us uh, try to find out. So after doing this one, now from here you can see that initial guess I have taken the same one. So for, for B, I am getting the value, so that is 0.5 I am getting. Instead of getting, uh, instead of getting the value 1, I am getting 0.5 and the corresponding eigenvector we are getting is this one. So now in this case what is happening that it is taking as a dominant eigenvalue is 0 0.5, not 1 instead of. But why this is happening? So this is happening because the difference between the eigenvalue is very small here. You can see that the difference is 0 0.5, 1 to 0 0.5 and it is 0 0.25. So in this case the error may happen that it is started with the given matrix. So if I take the matrix B, so this is my matrix. So I am in this case I am getting the eigenvalue close to 0.5. So th this is a wrong thing we are exp we are getting from this method in the case of inverse. So let us uh, try to resolve this one using the help of shifted inverse power method. So let us see what will happen in that case, the shifted inverse power method. So let us uh, now I want to also discuss, uh, let us uh, do the same thing for the another equation, another matrix. So I want to define this for the another matrix. So let us take the another matrix now. I am taking the same matrix which I have discussed in the example, as example in the lecture. So let us take A is equal to. 1, 2, minus 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 3, minus 1. So that is the matrix we are getting. <coughs> 1, 2, minus 1, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 3, minus 1. So let us run this one, keeping the same everything other than that. So let us see the, that what is so in this case initial guess is 1 and after doing this one you can see from here that the eigen value in this case is 2.6180. So this is the eigen value we are getting and this is a corresponding eigen vector 1 0 this one. So and I want to find the eigen value of A. So that is 0 0.3 2.6 minus 2. So we are getting the largest one that is this one. Okay. Where is V1? Just check.
Mm-hmm. Wait, wait. Yeah, now it will come. So let's check. Yeah. So initial guess is this. The given matrix is this. And I am getting 2.66. So, that was my corresponding eigenvector. Now, if I want to find the inverse of the given matrix, so finding the inver inverse, I am again getting the value 2.6180 and this is my corresponding eigenvector. If I want to see eigenvalues of A, so this is corresponding 2.6 and then if I want to find what is my B, B is this one and eigenvalue of capital B is this one. So, you can see from here that the eigenvalue of B is same, the largest is same. So, it is 2.61, it is 2.61, 0 0.3820 and the last two eigenvalues are the same, but the last one is in this case is 2 and in this case is 0.5, 1 by 2, so 0.5. So, in this case it is giving me the exact value, this is the, the value, eigenvalue we are getting maximum, so that is 2.6 in A also and 2.6 in B also. So, it is, it is giving me a good result. So, from here you can see that why it is giving good result, in this case maybe it may happen that the difference between the eigenvalue is quite large. So, it is easily to determine that which is the dominant eigenvalue. So, here in this case we are getting the dominant eigenvalue for A and A inverse. But the problem is coming in this case is that it is ok with the A matrix. So, the A matrix if you see the dominant eigenvalue is this and I am getting and the B, the dominant eigenvalue is again 2.6180 and we are getting. So, that means, if I take the least eigenvalue, so least eigenvalue is this one 0 0.3820. So, from here you will, see, you will see that if I do 1 by 0 0.3820, so it is 2.6178. So, from here you can see that it is 2.6180 and this is 216.6178. So, I am getting the value here it is 2.6180. So, that is why in this case whatever the least eigenvalue was there for matrix A that become the dominant eigenvalue for A inverse and we are able to find that value also. So, from here you can say that if I take 1 over 2.6178, so it should be this one 0.328. So, in this case we are giving a good result for the matrix A and A inverse. So, from the help of power method we are able to find the eigenvalues that is 0.3820 and 2.6 one eight zero. So, these two eigenvalue we are able to find. The third eigenvalue is lying between. So, these two I, this eigenvalue we are unable to find using the power method. So, let us try to find this one using the in shifted inverse power method. So, that is the code I have made for using the. So, this is the code for S in power. So, that is the shifted inverse power and in this case also I am in giving the input A, X note and alpha. So, this alpha we have to give that is a shift in A and that is a given tolerance. So, all other things are same in this case, I will get the output as a lambda and V. So, let us start with this one N is equal to length. Now, I define the matrix A again as A minus alpha I. So, I we can write in this case as E y e n. So, let us uh, write this math C L C 
basically your all. Now, if I write I 3, so I will get identity matrix 3 by 3 identity matrix. So, this is what I have we have written there. So, we will get A minus alpha I. So, that is my matrix and I call it again the A and lambda starting with the 0 iteration 0 error 1 display and then x1. So, this is the same as a different one. Then we go inside the, the error, while the error is greater than tolerance and the iteration less than 100. So, now what are we doing this? We are finding the solution using this. So, A backslash x old. So, what is the meaning of this A backslash x old? So, A back, whenever we write A backslash it means this is equal to inverse of A into x old because I wanted to find the inverse of this A minus alpha i into x naught. So, this I have taken as put so this all values we have taken as a, a. Now, I am putting the A backslash x old that is same as inverse of A into x old. So, from here I am finding the value y naught. Now, everything is same. I will normalize the y naught y with the finding the value c, then I am finding the difference of this c and this is y is equal to y by c. So, here I am dividing by c, so I am normalized. Then I am finding the, the error in the eigenvector. So, then I find the maximum error, maximum error in both the cases. So, y x old will be y, lambda will be c and this iteration will be increased and the same thing we are doing. So, after the while loop is over, then I will apply the lambda and you know that the lambda was equal to alpha plus 1 by c. So, that we have already seen from the previous lecture that my lambdas is equal to 1 over c plus alpha because c will goes to the lambda here. So, c and lambda is same. So, I can write as a lambda updated value of lambda that is alpha plus 1 by c. So, that is the value we are getting. And then my x sold will go to v and this will be giving you output. So, now I am able to find this value only thing is that I have to choose what is my alpha. So, let us uh, run this code. So, let us start this one. Now, I know that I will take the first this matrix. So, this matrix if you remember then I was able to get the maximum value 2.6 and the minimum value 0.3 only in between there was a minus 2.0 value. So, that I have to want to find. So, let us I want to find that one using the shifted. So, this is the value I am getting and this is the Eigen value I am getting matrix A and all this I will comment. Now, I have this matrix x node is there tolerance is this alpha now I want to find close to 2. So, in this case I can take this as a 1.8. So, let us see what will happen and with the negative sign minus 1.8. So, let us see what will happen in this case. undefined function variable b. So, I have to where is b or oh, this is a b not b I will this a I will not b I will now let us see see from here. I started with 1 1 and then after 100 iteration we are able to get our lambda is equal to minus 1.6 and this is the corresponding eigenvalue. And 
and I want to find the Eigen value of A. So, that is this value 0 0.3, 2.6 and so from here I am, I have, because I have stopped here after 100 iteration. So, let us uh, try to increase the number of iterations in this case. So, let us make it maybe 200. Let us see. So, after 200 iteration also I am getting this. So, I have to go much closer. It means that I have to go much closer to this one. Maybe I will find 1.92. Let us take this one. Try to run this one. So, it in this case it is not giving the convergence after even 200 iteration. So, maybe it will happen that it will give me the solution after more than 200 iteration. So, let us say change the matrix maybe we'll, we can take another matrix and let us try, try to find this. So, I will take the matrix this one and I know that in this case the Eigen value was 1, 2 and 4. So, I am able to find the value 4. So, let us see what will happen in this case if I want to find the Eigen value close to 0.8. So, let us see. Now, you can see from here that in this case after the 9 iteration, I am getting the value 1, 0.99, so 2. So, in this case I am getting the Eigen value close to 2. So, we have a 1, 2 and 4, so 4 was I able to find Eigen value of so, that is 1, 2 and 4. Now, with the help of this one, I am able to get the value that is close to 2. So, I have taken the alpha is equal to 0 0.8. Let us see what will happen if I take close to 1.8. So, in this, in this case also I am getting the value 2 even after the 6 iteration and that is the corresponding eigenvector. This one I can find as so from here you can see that this is the corresponding ok I have written the maybe I should not take this value and I should make it E and this is V and let us see then yeah. So, this is the corresponding eigenvectors and this is the corresponding eigenvalue. So, eigenvalue is 1, 2, 4. So, corresponding to 1 the eigenvector this in, corresponding to 2 the eigenvalue this. So, if we take the inbuilt function, use the inbuilt function, this is my eigenvector and we are using the shifted inverse power method, and then this is the eigenvector we are getting corresponding to. So, it is point minus 0.21, it is minus 2.5, it is point minus 0.43, it is 0.5 and this is minus 0.87, this is minus 1. So, this is just uh, we are giving the overview that how we can find the, the Eigen values and the Eigen vector using the shifted inverse power method. Now, so with the help of this one, I, I may change the tolerance also. So, in this case we am giving the value of alpha A x naught alpha and tolerance and I am able to find the values. So, let us see what will happen 
if I want to take close to maybe 3.8, let us see. Now, I am getting the value close to 4 and that is, so this is the dominant eigen value we are able to find. Now, I want to change it little bit and let us take it to 1.2, let us see what will happen. Now, I am getting 2 eigen value. Now, if I choose alpha is equal to 0, so if I took, take alpha is equal to 0, then it is just a power method. So, from here you can see that it is the inverse power method and the solution is coming to because So, from here I am able to find the value that is this 2. So, with the help of this we can we are able to find the Eigen values corresponding to whatever the alpha value we are taking. So, now I hope that uh, we should stop here uh, in with this code. So, today we have started with the example based on the Grosigorian theorem and then we have discussed the MATLAB codes for uh, power method and the shifted inverse power method. So, I hope that you have learned that how to make the code for power 1 power and the shifted power method. So, thanks for watching, uh, thanks very much.